I feel that every mountain has an aura of its own. Spiti, for example, makes a traveler build an amazing intimate bond with its unique landscape. In this video, let me take you around Kaza, the heart of Spiti, and the beautiful picturesque villages of Langza, Komik, and Hikim. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Take Me to Spiti. And today I'm in Kaza. Yesterday I went to the market, and um, it was freezing yesterday. And now it's less than zero degrees. It's minus one degree right now. And um, it's six a.m. in the morning. The sun is about to rise, and I am out for a small little hike. Let's see where I can go. I don't know. Uh, there's hardly anyone, <laughs> so I was advised not to get out. Um, you know, before the sunrise, before it's uh, you know when it's dark, because there are a lot of dogs. Um, but nevertheless, at six a.m. I'm just out. So probably I'll just uh, take this road up there and let's see how much I can go and hike. It's freezing cold. I think it's even below minus one. I'm wearing four layers, and still I'm shivering and freezing. The plan is to walk up right up to that mandir where my finger is pointing, and from there I want to get a clear picture and a clear view of the entire town of Gaza. Finally, I have reached the top. You can see the Buddha statue up there. So I'm sitting here at the topmost point of Gaza, staring in the mountains, and just enjoying the view. So I've met Abhishek here. He's a solo traveler from Bhuvaneshwar. So we are on the top of Kaza <laughs> and enjoying the view. So how was your experience, Abhishek? Uh, actually, it's great. हम लोग हम लोग नीचे थे तो यहाँ आने का मेरा कभी भी मन नहीं था इतना ऊपर था तो हम लोग क्या किए कि मैं हम तो यहाँ नीचे मोनेस्ट्री है बहुत अच्छा है तो वहाँ तक हम लोग आए अभी तो वहाँ से मेरा एक दोस्त है मेरे जो जाकिर आया है तो हम लोग ऊपर चलते हैं तो हम लोग ऊपर आया लेकिन बहुत हालत खराब हुआ लेकिन ओर्स ओर्स विजिट यर ग्रेट So I have these little people with us and I'm saying hello to all of you. As I was walking down, I could hear the morning prayers and the hymns from the Kaza monastery at a distance. I felt this strong urge to soak in some more of the bliss by just spending some time with the monks inside. So I just came out of the monastery right now. So when I entered, the monks were having their prayer meet, their morning prayer meet. And one of the monks, uh, he suggested, he asked me to sit down. So I went there and sat at the back. And I just closed my eyes and I just meditated with their chants. And it was so serene and so beautiful. Uh, you know, it's taken me to a completely different zone altogether. The best way to experience life at Kaza is to take a walk through the village. Wherever I travel, I have this habit of exploring the place early morning on foot. So Kaza wasn't really an exception in spite of the cold weather. But then I was desperately in need of some good breakfast as I was starving and hunting for a local joint. So I really wanted to have breakfast here but it's closed at the moment. So I think it should open by 9 if I have time I'll come. So it's early in the morning and I just found out a cute little cafe and the best thing that you can do in the mountains is to start your day with hot momos. <laughs> I have Naomi here with me. She's from Israel and she's now touring the entire India. She's just been to Rishikesh and now she's gone to Kinnor and now she's in Spiti. So how was your experience Naomi? It was really amazing. Beautiful views, amazing people, best food in the world. Yeah, food is damn good here. I mean, I, I even I love the food. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I have Tino with me. Tino is from Holland, and uh, I just saw him playing the mouth organ, and he was very, very nice. So I'll just request Tino to play the mouth organ for us a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you, thank. You. Okay, so I just walked into this cafe called Himalayan Cafe. I've heard about this a lot, and this is my second breakfast. I already had momos previously, and now I just couldn't resist it. So I'm having some hot chocolate and some cheese sandwich. And uh, let's see, I'm feeling hungrier by the hour. <laughs> Yash and uh, Sahil, they have got themselves a bike, so they are going to go to Langza Comic Ekim with the bike. Now this is really what I love about road trips in Spiti. The journeys are really refreshing and as you travel, you get to absorb every inch of that sublime beauty of nature. That is Langza and right up there you can see a statue of Buddha. I don't know if it is visible but we're going to right go right up there. We have reached Langza right now which is at a altitude of 4300 meters and uh, it is beautiful i mean the scenery is just awesome and mind blowing uh one thing that i really need to uh, tell all of you that if you're coming here and if you have any problems with breathing or any problems with uh, you know if you have any oxygen level uh, problems any discomfort then you should definitely uh, let your guide or your driver know and they will immediately make some arrangements for you so yash bhai kaisa tha bike ka experience bhai hamare bike mein aaye hain bahut badhiya jaise hi wahan se nikle मतलब जो एक थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री व्यू तो आपको मिलता है बाइक पे यू कैन गेट इट इन ए कार चेक आउट द व्यू गाइज बिहाइंड मी जिस चेक आउट द होल रेंज सब यू कैन वॉक अप टिल दैट बुद्धा स्टैचू देर डाउन देर इज अ लोअर लांगजा एंड वेर वी आर दैट्स कॉल्ड अपर लांगजा Okay I'm going down for a small hike down the hill and let me see if I can explore some new places from where I can get better shots see I don't see anybody out here so I'm taking a risk and if you don't take risks in Spiti valley and if you don't explore the places then you are going to miss out on a lot of good things guys I'm already out of breath a little bit. I'm going to take it slow now. Okay, now I'm hiking it back. <laughs> I think I've come down more than I could expect. Now I have to go back and <laughs> get some hot tea. So I am at Shanti Cafe at Langza. So if you are going for a hike or even if you visit the Buddha statue, so please come to Cousin Vai's Cafe. This is Shanti Cafe, and they make amazing Maggi and chai. So being here in Langza, you know, getting reintroduced to the Buddha, Buddhist culture is great, and the atmosphere is really nice. <laughs> Looks awesome at this side. So we have just left Langza and we are going to Komek which is the world's highest motorable village. I really believe that the thrill is more in the pursuit of the destination than the actual destination itself. Absorbing every bit of the journey in my soul, feeling the fresh mountain air on my face and immersed in wonder, I headed towards Finally reached Komek which is about 4500 meters. 
I'm in the highest village in the world. We are now going to explore uh, the comic monastery and after that we are going to climb all the way up there. Uh, there are some flags that you can see. We are going to climb up there. Comic is a small village with about 130 people. The beauty of this place cannot be explained by words. You really have to be here to feel it. At the first glance, the village might seem quite barren, but you can't say there's nothing much to do. If you are an adventure lover and a peace seeker, this hamlet will never disappoint you. Okay, now I'm going to start my trek towards that part where you can see the flags. Uh, this might seem very close by, but trust me, it is not. And at 15,000, almost 15,000 feet above sea level, just a little walk can make you breathless. I've reached halfway completely out of breath just sipping on some water You have to keep in mind that you're not hiking any other mountain peak at 15,000 feet but a cold dry desert where the air is extremely thin A bout of breathlessness becomes a reality at a number of places Finally I'm here oh. As you can see from the fluttering of the flags, it's terribly windy out here. So I'm going to sit here for about 10-15 minutes and uh, meditate for a while. And that is the entire village of Comic. I didn't find any prominent trekking trail from there. And as usual, I set out to explore the surroundings all by myself. A trip to Comic is incomplete without enjoying a meal at the world's highest restaurant. From the quintessential Rajma Chawal to noodles, they served almost everything. And yes, do not miss out on their Seabuck Thorn tea. Having something called Seabuck tea, which is a local drink and it is made out of berries. Very different. Alright, so I am at Hikim uh, and we have the world's highest post office right here, right there at the back. So uh, uh, many of you would have seen the other post office but now from this year it has shifted here, you know, right, at, right in the back. Got myself a postcard and I'm going to send myself a postcard and let's see how soon it reaches. So I've come out here to explore the Hikim village. It's a very small village, hardly about um, about 10 to 15 houses that I can see. These are all made of mud and bricks. And um, so let me just go and check the village out. It's one of the houses of the village. Okay, so there is something that I would really love to tell all of you that the places that we visit here, uh, if you're in the main town and if you're in the main uh, uh, tourist places, then uh, you're going to miss the beauty of this whole place. The beauty of this whole place lies in the offbeat regions where nobody will tell you to go, but you have to hike it up there. So if you just walk up a little bit, maybe uh, down the hill or uphill or any bit, anywhere uh, else, apart from the main uh, tourist places, you're going to actually uh, discovered gem of locations. It's extreme. 
extremely windy. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the winds, but my uh, my topi is just flying away. Well, I had a great time in all of these places, but the day was not yet over. Okay, I uh, I hired this cycle, and it was my dream to go cycling in the mountains. And today, uh, I'm living my dreams. So I've almost come downhill three kilometers on the cycle, and. Uh, Beside me, you can see the Spiti River, and what you see from the car and what you see while you are cycling is completely different. And this is just out of the world. I am really, really happy. I'm so excited. I can't even tell you. <laughs> Ooh, that was quite an adventurous day. And what better to witness the lovely sunset from the roadside on the banks of Spiti River. I hope you loved watching this video. Do it a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one where I take you to the famous Chandratal Lake.